it's Evelyn here and welcome to my channel today I am sharing with you some coloring supplies and coloring books are you ready let's get into it first I'm gonna start with coloring supplies these are the star joy colored pencils I bought these on Amazon I bought these because I like this little pencil holder here or case I think it is so cute. I bought 72 pencils and I actually have been using them. Let me show you what I have been coloring with these pencils so that you can get an idea of how they work. I have been coloring this page with the Star Joy pencils. So far, so good. I love the pencil case that these come in, they make for a good gift to someone i do like them i may consider getting a larger set at some point in time but right now i'm really enjoying this pencil holder as well as the pencils here are the swatches for the star joy 72 pencil set take a good look at them i think we have a good amount of purples, blues here, greens, some pinks, browns. I noticed that when I was coloring in the circle of life that this set has quite a few browns in it. Then we have some more blues here. And then some grays here those are my swatches for star joy 72 set let me tie it back up so you can see how i do it now you can roll it i don't like it to be rolled i just like it to be just like this i think it's so cute the colors are pretty right up my alley these are star joy color pencils I have some more colored pencils and the first ones that I have are these. I've already showed you these. I colored a mandala with these pencils. If you don't remember, I will of course link it in the cards as well as in the description. But I use these happy color, um, I guess, rainbow pencils to color my mandala with these. I have, I think, 12 of these or eight. One, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine yeah I have 12 of these and then I heard or I saw Sherry talking about these somewhere so <laughs> I actually got these because of Sherry but I saw these on Amazon as well these are Koinor Magic Fix these are a set of five jumbo pencils and I have actually colored something with these I will show you that in just a little bit so these are the pencils here. There's some big pencils. I actually like them. I'm going to put these, transfer these over into here. But I just kept the package so that you could see, you know, how they came packaged. They're called multicolored pencils. Let me get the page to show you what I colored with these pencils. This is the page that I experimented with using the magic pencils here. I think it turned out okay. I was just experimenting, trying to see what these pencils would do. And again, they are the Magic Fix or FX pencils. There are five in this set from Koinor, and I use them to color this page here. And these are the pencils. They are really pretty looking, design-wise, so pretty. I, I know you've seen them before because <laughs> I have showed them to you but I want you to see how pretty design is on these pencils on that casing and another thing about these pencils is that they are capped unlike these pencils they are not capped as you can see and also being that they're capped these are hexagonal these are round okay between the two I would have to say I actually like these better. Moving on to the next 
two items and then we'll be getting on into the coloring books. These are pens and markers that I bought from Michaels. Let me open them up. I kept them in the bag specifically for this video. I went to Michaels looking for the pen. And when I did go to the store to Michaels, I noticed that they had a sale on these. And so I got more than one. <laughs> so the sale on these were buy two, get one free, I believe. I just went to Michaels to buy this particular pen, the Signo Uniball White one. And the reason I went there to buy this one is because I can't find the one that I currently own. It's somewhere around here, and I guess I'll probably find it when I least expect it. But I went there and I bought one of these. I bought these two little pens here, a gold and silver. I think it's still the Uniball, but it has a um a smaller point here a finer point versus the one here which is a little bit bigger this might be fine too i don't know but i think the point is a little bit bigger and in addition to these three i bought some highlighters some stabilo highlighters i've been wanting to try these so I decided to get some. The sales was on for these two. You could buy two and get one free. And I ended up spending about $11 on these here. Here's my receipt. Yeah. So you can see one pen was $2.19. Yeah. You could buy two and get one free. And that's what I did. Bought two of these, got my little white pen free. Bought two of these Stabilo highlighters and got one free. The last item I have for supplies is this pencil sharpener. It is an F-matte pencil sharpener. It is a long point pencil sharpener, meaning that your pencil will have a longer point. And you can choose if you want it to be a point, a fine point, or a blunt point. The cool thing about this pencil sharpener is that you do not have to plug it into an electrical socket. You can charge it with your USB cord that comes with the pencil sharpener. I like that. I think it's pretty cool because I can color, and while I'm coloring, I don't have to have this plugged in. It can go with me anywhere I go, actually. <laughs> But one of the things I want you to know about this pencil sharpener is that it does sharpen any size pencil. And let me show you that. Here is my Starjoy pencil. It has not been sharpened. I'm going to sharpen it, but I'm going to do it here on this end. Let's see how that works. And it stops. And this is how the long point looks. Okay, now it also sharpens a hexagonal pencil. This is a hexagonal and a fat pencil. Let's see. Now I'm taking it out because I don't want this pencil sharpener to eat up my pencils, but I am demoing this so that you can see how it works. Now, lately I've been looking at videos from people specifically from an artist who talked about pencil sharpeners and she convinced me to stick with my manual pencil sharpeners and I understand why I have two electric pencil sharpeners and with this one and the other one they tend to be really aggressive with the pencils and I think that I would only use these electrical pencil sharpeners when I'm coloring and I need to sharpen something right quick. But as far as just making this my main pencil sharpener, it's not what I will do. I think I have found my pencil sharpener that I like. I think the book stops here, meaning that I'm not buying any more pencil sharpeners. But yeah, it's neat to have this. Uh, I do have a daughter who I educate. <laughs> so with the pencil sharpeners, they do come in handy and she can use that. 
for that. It's okay. It's okay. One of the things I did notice with this pencil sharpener as I was using it, because I've been using it for about two weeks, is that I started getting breakage in my lid. One of the other things I want you to know is that I do not use my higher end pencils in electric pencil sharpeners. I am learning not to do that, especially if I'm trying to preserve them. I'm glad I bought it. I like the fact that I don't have to plug it in. Yeah, to the electrical so socket. That's always a good thing. First up, I have two coloring books that were sent to me for free by Bailey Black. These books can be found on Amazon. Sweet and Squishy Kawaii Cat Coloring Book. And here's how it looks inside here. And also the other one that says Kawaii Cat in Space. It says for kids six and up. And this one has a black background, which I love black backgrounds. And that is it. Now, I did not buy these two books. Bailey Black gifted them to me. And eventually I will color some pages in here to show you how they look. Moving on to the books that I bought. The first group of books that I have to share with you are books that I bought from Amazon. The first one that I have is RJ Hampson's Fantasy Tiny Homes. I bought this because of Tani, coloring with Tani, but also because RJ Hampson has reimagined or redid some things in the book. And plus the actual illustrations are very nice. Let's take a quick peek inside here. I think the illustrations in here are so cute and that's why I bought them. <laughs> Let me do a quick flip. Now he has, I think 25 pages that are not redone. And then the last 25 pages, I believe, I guess it's 25. Is it 50? I don't know. But anyway, the first half of the book is like this. It doesn't have a black background. But then when you go to the second half of the book, yeah, the second half or second set of pages begins here. And what you will see is that the background is changed. There's still similar illustrations, but there's a little bit of a, a change with the illustrations, which gives you an opportunity to color it a different way. Of course, it's regular Amazon paper, but I can deal with that. If I want to do some other stuff, then I know how to print it out on some different paper. But yeah, that's how that looks. Fantasy Tiny Homes. I think this is a very nice book. It's so cute. Okay. That is R.J. Hampson's Fantasy Tiny Homes. The next book that I bought is R.J. Hampson's Forest Song. Let's take a quick peek in here. All right, so we have that page and we have this page here. I'm going to flip through it fairly quickly just so you can get an idea of what's in this forest song. Looks neat if you like coloring forest stuff and animals and trees and plants <laughs> then you might like this let me go back to that right quick okay this is how it looks and then there's a second set of pages in the back here that usually looks a little bit different sometimes a little bit different with a black background yeah that's cute i like that but yeah those are the images and illustrations in forest song by rj hampson the next book i have is an adult coloring book mindful sanctuary by revive rive.com i have purchased i think three books from them and i decided to get this one this one is a book full of animals 
and I think it's pretty cute. What happens is they have the animals on the right and the pages are perforated so you can tear them out if you like. Yeah. And then on the left hand side, it has a nice mindful, um, I guess, affirmation or something to inspire you as it relates to the animals to the right. And this one says, Dolphin Joy. And let me flip through right quick. This is the test page for the pens that you use or whatever medium that you use. And here are the animals. You have butterflies and they have a little transformation topic here about, you know, butterflies. Butterflies do symbolize transformation, right? Metamorphosis. We have a snake, rebirth fox i like the way the illustrations are i'll be getting a lot of practice with coloring things like this because i have another book similar to this meaning that instead of leaving this as open space they put designs and like mandala type of stuff within the animal which helps with mindfulness and coloring right you can just relax and get lost into it and that's how all of the animals are in this book you have a fish. What does it say about the fish? You have the cat, which is independence. Fish, flu fluidity. Horse, freedom. Crab. What does crab say? Security. These are nice images. And I know that what they have written about the illustration is pretty good looks pretty good so that's the first book that i bought from revive let me tell you who the publisher is right quick my com. yeah so just want to make sure i got it right i'll put it up on the screen here i also bought another book from the company and this is mindful mandala water earth air and fire mandalas let's take a look in here right quick i love this right here <laughs> i love the fact that they have some in here that you can tell is a water type of mandala which is this one you see the shells and then you can see and tell the ones that are fire and I'm going to do a quick, see, there's fire right there if you want it to be. <laughs> I'm going to flip through right quick and you can get a, a good glimpse of it. I actually like these mandalas. I like, too, that they have some of them in here that expand the whole page. That's a big ball of fire right there. Yeah. I do like these mandalas. The paper is pretty good pretty good so that is that what i like too is that they have a mandalas that have feathers that one has clouds yeah feathers there okay that is it now that one looks these kind of look like something i colored in another coloring book the feathers here but yeah i like this book i think that i'm going to enjoy coloring in here all right so that is mindful mandala water earth and fire also by my rive i believe i'll put it up on the screen the next book that i bought is from johanna bassford the 2025 weekly coloring planner i wanted to get this one because it's small i wanted a smaller planner and i also wanted to be able to have it like this just very simple and that's why i bought this and i know that i would actually use this one because it's actually what i want something short to the point have a page to color and i can write down what i'm doing in coloring for that particular week i'm going to go to the back here so you can see what else is in here we have a test page another coloring test page front and back notes 
We have the 2024 spread, year at a glance, 2026 year at a glance. And then if you have some things you need to put here for 2026, you can do that. And then here we have the illustration. Some of these illustrations I have seen in some of her books, but that's fine. This is right up my alley. I'm glad I bought it. Okay. That is Johanna Basford's 2025 Weekly Coloring Planner. The next book that I bought is Johanna Basford's Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. I already have a copy of this, but I am changing when it comes to coloring. And I just want to start fresh in her book. I have colored something in the other book, but I don't like it. And I want to start fresh with a different uh, set of eyes. My eyes have changed when it comes to coloring and I want to um, start fresh in her book. So here is the Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. I'm sure a lot of you have already seen this, but it's a story with illustrations in here. And I want to take my time and work my way through this book. And I don't want to feel rushed. So I decided to get it again. And really hone in on my eye color, how I see things. Okay. So that's that for Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. The next book that I bought from Amazon is this book. It says the Colored Pencil Manual step-by-step -step instructions and techniques. And this is by Veronica Winters. This is not for people who are learning to color. This is for more mature artists, I believe. That's what it says here. The more experienced artists. I don't know why I bought this book, <laughs> but eventually um, I'll be looking through it and reading it. Some of the things in here actually do ca catch my attention. And, you know, I could learn something, even though it's targeted to people who are artists. Who's to say I'm not an artist? <laughs> All right. So that's it. In this um, book, you have the table of contents and it says chapter one, the importance of light and a setup composition. Chapter two and the focal point. Chapter three, how to turn the form. Chapter four, how to create volume. Chapter five, how to blend colored pencils. Chapter six, color theory in practice. Chapter seven, how to draw fabric. Chapter eight, how to create symmetrical shapes. And chapter nine, how to draw metal reflective surfaces and crystal. And chapter 10, how to draw textures. When I initially bought this book, I thought it was for colored pencil coloring, but I'm okay with that because I am into learning to draw and all that good stuff. So this will come in handy. I do have Veronica Winter's book that is titled How to Color Like an Artist. And I will be working through that book at some point in time. The next group of books that I have to share with you are books that I ordered from the bookoutlet.com. The reason I ordered from there is because of this book right here. I wanted to buy this book from Amazon.com, but it was a little bit too high for me. I didn't want to pay $15 for it or $13. To me, it was just a little bit too high. It was more than I was willing to pay for it. And that is how I ended up over on the bookoutlet.com. I bought this book. I think it was probably $6.99, $7.99. I put the price of it on the screen. I can't remember the exact price at the time of me recording this video. However, I will check my email to let you know the exact price of this book. Now, this is Johanna Basford's Lost Ocean and Inky Adventure and Coloring Book. I do like water scenes and sea animals and all that. Now, this book was something that I decided to buy because I saw um, Rachel Henderson. She had colored something from this book. And I do recall looking in this book when I was in a Michaels, but that was probably last year sometime. And I just put it back on the shelf. 
I'm glad that I waited to buy the book because now I'm a little bit more mature with my coloring and I think I could do a better job in here. But yeah, this is the uh, Lost Ocean book. It has hidden objects inside the book and the key is in the back of the book. Let's take a look in the back here. What I noticed with this book in the back is that it has some pages that fold out. I didn't realize that until after I started filming this video. So we have that and we have the key here in the back. This is the key to tell you where the hidden objects are. And we have a page here. I'm trying to find something else here. I don't see a test page. Maybe I've overlooked it or skipped it. Anyway, I was looking for a test page. This is how it the pages look so far. What's in here? We have the big fish. That's cute. And I'm going to flip through here fairly quickly. I'm sure some of you probably already know what's in this book anyway. Sorry for the camera shaking. But here we go. Quick flip right quick. Uh-oh, I saw something. Okay. Underwater little house here. Yep, yep, yep. Is that a boat? I see. Okay, that's cute. And that is The Lost Ocean. It's the first book from my book outlet haul. Here is the next one. The next book that I have is Johanna Bassford's Small Victories. Although I do have one copy of it, now I have a second copy. I told you that my coloring eyes, they have matured a bit. Now I'm ready to take on the task of, well, the relaxing task of coloring in this book. And I'm sure many of you have already seen the illustrations in here. And I have a project and that is to color this book with a certain type of colored pencil and stick with that and just try to color the best I can in here. So I wanted a fresh book so that I can start over. <laughs> and get it right the way I want it to be this time. The next book that I have from the book outlet is Millie Morata's Island Escape. Of course, this did not cost $13.58. You know, I put the price up here on the screen for you, right over here, okay? Now, I've seen these books in Walmart and I would flip through them, but I would I always put it back on the shelf. And I'm going to tell you why in just a bit when I get to one of the pages here. This is why. Is this, it's not perforated. But here's the deal. The lines and all this stuff that's in here. Now I know that I don't have to color each individual one. I can just color the whole thing a certain color. And that is why I have always put the book back on the shelf. But now I am color mature my eyes have matured and i'm ready to take on that um uh, i guess the challenge i'm ready for it but i think these are very nice illustrations very nice they're different but they're nice and i like that you know it's not an open thing an open space on the animal so to speak she's put designs on here which makes it really fun relaxing type of illustration to color you see the paper is mm, it's okay it's not paper thin but it's okay so here is a quick flip through this book what's that it looks like a a lobster I don't know a shrimp <laughs> I'm probably getting it wrong but yeah this is nice very different 
kind of like a gives me the a mandala feel but yet and still i don't have to like color it like i am coloring a mandala that's cute what is that okay there's a bird yeah i have to look pretty you know really look at that to see what's going on there first i didn't see these two birds but yeah this is some type of sea creature in some water i know let me get on through this book here this is one i bought i'm gonna have fun coloring this i know that i am yeah i'm gonna enjoy it hmm. okay look at that you see this i guess this is a chicken or some type of bird and you see how she has all these designs in here to have made the animal this is so unique so different it's really nice all right that is it for this book here looks like it'll be fun to color in this is the Allen escape by millie marata the next book that i bought is a mythographic book called deep blue this was published in 2023 so it's not too old <laughs> and this is by fabiana atanasio let's take a quick look in here i do like mythographic books but you know what there are some books that i have decluttered getting rid of <laughs> you'll see that in another video but here are some of the pages here i'm going to do a flip through of this because i mentioned it to one of my friends little coloring buddies and she said yeah i like to see a flip through so i don't want to flip through all of this too quickly i mean slowly i don't want to flip through every page but just give you an idea of what's in here because i am doing a flip through it gets its own video that is mythographic deep blue by fabiana astanasio the last book that i bought is a kirby book and it is Caladio morphia Caladium morphia morphia let me zoom out a little bit so you can see never mind this little area over here but i want to zoom out so you can actually see the full book i have done a declutter or people say purge but i've decluttered some of my kirby books i went in those books and i asked myself are you going to color in this book and the answer was no so i have some books that i've set aside that i know that i'm not going to color in that i will either give away or donate or do both but this is one that i bought from the book outlet let's take a look in here at the Caladio morphia i'm just going to flip through fairly quickly I'm sure most of you have seen this book at some point in time. Yeah. Because some of these uh, illustrations are in my reflections coloring book as well. Some I noticed. But yeah, this is the Caladio Morphia book. And this is a compilation book, actually. And there's the cover right there. The cover person or the cover animal, not a person. And see, this is in reflections as well. Yeah. But I've gotten, I purged out a lot of his books. Not because they're not good books, but mainly because I know that I'm not going to color in that book. So why keep it around? And that's the way I look at stuff. And that is it and that is Caladio morphia by kirby Rosanis. this is the last book from the book outlet order if you have any questions or comments please drop them in the comment section below until next time keep coloring bye